the Hawks Cave Trail is going to be a one mile loop trail, which is awesome. It looks like uh, see over some bluffs down here. And difficulty is easy, so this should be a good one. You get to start heading up right off of the trailhead here. Get your blood flowing and make for a great hike. And coming around the bend up here, we see the face of the rock here. And I believe I see the cave. Awesome to see. Beautiful back here. And we're going to continue with the loop trail. So coming out the other side, you get to walk along the rocks on your right. And of course, overlooking the bottom down here on your left. Do I see the what? The duck. See the rock with the head and then the feathers? I do. Right there. Upon uh, closer investigation, as you get up here, it's actually two separate rocks and doesn't look like a duck at all. But it sure did from back in the back. Pretty gnarly looking rock right there. Got the honeycomb look. Awesome. I say awesome a lot, I think, in these videos, but all this stuff is just awesome to me. We were just discussing what do you think is harder when you're hiking, uphill or downhill? We'd like to know. Let us know. And that was Hawk's Cave. And that trail was a really awesome trail, of course, with those awesome rock formations. I think we're going to go ahead and give the Redmond Trail a shot. It's uh, half a mile easy, but there are dangerous areas within this trail also. So here it's saying that climbing and rappelling are allowed in this area from off of this wall right here. That would be fun. And according to this plaque right here, this trail is called Redmond Trail because of Emma Redmond, who owned 120 acres of this area, and uh, she ended up deeding it to the state, but she absolutely loved this area. And in 1923, it was actually named the most beautiful spot in Illinois. I can see why. Coming into some more beautiful rock formations here. Emma was right, it definitely is beautiful. And it looks like we're gonna be able to see a little bit of a waterfall up here. Not a very big one, but it does have some water flowing. Sounds like there's another back here to our left. Places are just gorgeous. And continuing back on the back side of the loop, you get to walk along the rock face here. I 
is you walk in between boulders next to a rock face like this. Awesome. It's like the rock is just hanging there. As you can see, it's actually a little over five foot right here. how you fall down. Sometimes when you're focusing on the camera, you focus less on walking, which is what I just did there. Luckily, didn't get hurt at all. But always be careful on the trail. Watch your footing. And I am like 5'6", so it's like, you know, almost six foot right there. And that is the end of the Redmond Trail. Now I think now we're gonna stop for lunch. All right, we've stopped for lunch. So we're gonna cook us up some boiling water here. Steve has the actual jet boil system. And as you can see, it's a very nice jet boil system. It's got the whole shroud right here. The system I'm using, it does the same thing. Um, just becomes a little bit more compact. Dump it right out of here. And then I can just spread these out and around. Once I unlock them, there we go. Hook them around like that. These will flip down to hold the cylinder here and I just screw it on the propane bottle that I've got here. Turn this on. There we go. We're ready to boil some water. The water I'm using, I've got my hydration pack in here. So I'm just going to let this fill up to the amount that I need right here. And I'm going to be heating up the beef stew by Mountain House right here. And it calls for about 16 ounces of water. So that should be about enough right there. And after just a couple of minutes, you've got some boiling water. And very carefully dump it in. Seal it back up. And just wait a few minutes, stir it, seal it back again, and eat. And what do you do whenever you realize you forgot a spork? Get a stick and a knife and you start whittling. Let's see what we can come up with here. All right guys, this isn't much, but it's gonna work. We're gonna use this to eat. All right, let's see if we can make this work. Hmm, it's good beef stew. <laughs> The good news is, this actually has a nice wood smoked flavor to it. You can't beat a good mountain house meal. Might as well use a mountain made utensil. All right, the stork or stoon, whatever you want to call this thing, is not fancy or practical, but it did work. I'm, uh, looks like this will be about the last bite, and I didn't get any splinters. Well, buddy, you did me well. You served your purpose. You can now go home. Mm -hmm.